Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so it's worth working on Wednesday. Today is, what is today? Today is August the 16th. And can you believe that we're already halfway through August? Today's like the halfway mark. But I got a new whip in here. <laughs> I pulled out my candy corn bag. This is one of the first bags I ever made a long time ago, like six years ago, uh, because it's, it's the season to be spooky. <laughs> it's the season of the witch. <laughs> Anyways, so I started a new amigurumi. Uh, for my Halloween amigurumis. So if you've been following me along ever since January this year, I've been making three amigurumis that are Halloween themed to put out with the candy for the neighborhood kids here while we go trick-or-treating so that they can get candy and also little toys. Okay, let's make sure I got everything out of there. So um, I do already have one of these amigurumis that I made. I think I made it in 2021. I might have made it last year. I think it was 2021. But anyways, it's a free pattern and it's called The Smallish <laughs> Witch. And it is from Amigurumi to Go. And so I pulled out just these three colors from my stash. So this is Red Heart, Super Saver Black, and Pumpkin. I think, yeah. And this is Big Twist Camel, I think is the color. Yes. Uh, to make one of the witches and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do di each which is the three I make is gonna be different colors I just haven't figured it out. I'll do that when I get to them. So I did start I, This one's almost done. I just need to do her hair and Her hat and then put it all together. So here's her body <laughs> So I did use the camel as a skin tone and these are 12 millimeter safety eyes and then her little underwear is black <laughs> and then um, I finished her little legs. I made them black and orange so I will sew them down there when I get to that part uh, her little legs and then I got her little arms done they're just in camel uh, her dress has arms as well so I got I gotta make the I gotta crochet the arms for the dress and the hat and then do her hair and then her little dress this is the body of the dress so it she basically just um, it goes over her head and mine, I did stitch it on up here, and I'll probably do that to this one too. Uh, and then you saw the arms on there, and then the little you put the little sleeves over the arms to kind of like they slide together, and then you sew them onto there, the body. And then I just so I, I still got a lot of piecing to do, <laughs> but the only crocheting I have to do is to make the sleeves for her dress and her hat, which I'm gonna make the hat black. So her little her little legs are gonna be striped down here, and then her sleeves are gonna be orange. And then I'm gonna make a black hat, and I think I might put like a, like a, what are they called? I don't even know, like a buckle, a belt buckle thing that's orange on her hat. And then she's gonna have long hair. I'm gonna make it black. Or maybe dark brown. I might get dark brown and make her hair dark brown. Uh, and give her long hair, because I like that. And I will probably go back and put in a little nose just by using the skin color and making like a little bobble right there. And I don't know if I'll do math yet or not. I'll have to just finish her and see what I think. <laughs> but that's what I'm working on. I got all this done uh, today <laughs> while watching some Gilmore Girls. I was just sitting there and I just happened to have time to sit and crochet without being bothered. <laughs> and I got all this done. So it's pretty good. I got her mostly done. And I probably had, I would have had time to finish her, at least the crocheting, because the hair kind of takes a while. Um, if I just didn't want to set it down, you know, and do other things. But, yeah, so I'm getting that done. I will leave that link down below if you want to check it out. Um, I will say that the dress pattern is really kind of weird. So, the dress is more like a, it's not a beginner friendly one. Because it talks about the increases in a weird way. It doesn't say to, um repeat the increases at all but you just you know you should just be able to assume <laughs> for making things before that you do have to repeat the increases all the way around uh so even i was having like because i had forgotten that it's been a year or two since i made it and i was like what on earth am i doing wrong but then i, I realized what the pattern was saying so i went back and i was able to fix it but um other than that it's pretty easy pattern the little legs are kind of tedious <laughs> it's changing color so you can just carry it along the inside of the so you don't have to worry about cutting the arm and I am using a four millimeter hook, which is a G hook. Yes, I'll make sure it's four. <laughs> uh, I think it calls for an H hook, and I did. Was it this one? I think I started it with a H, and it was just too holy because of my tension. So I went ahead and did it with the G hook. But anyways, that's what I'm working on today. I'm gonna try to finish her up here in a little bit when I get done recording. I'm gonna go ahead and try to work on her, um, and then I'm gonna start the next one. I think I want to do one with a green dress and maybe one with a purple dress, and then I might do different skin tones and hair colors. I don't know. 
But anyways, let me know what you guys are working on down below. Feel free to share any links or people's channels or anything like that. If you're not crocheting at all, let me know what you are doing today. And let me know what you're making for dinner. Because <laughs> I always like to know. This video is kind of going out later than I had hoped. So you might have already had dinner. But let me know what you had. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys.